Hi everyone, Oleg here in Newland Gris Mill Park in Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. I got a brand new video for you today, hope you like it. But first I'd like to thank my GoFundMe supporter Patrick for supporting my efforts. And if you like to support my efforts, click on the link in the comments below. Okay, so today we are looking at an exercise for our four bar crossovers. And here we're just looking at the crossovers in slow motion. Specifically, this is going to be an exercise for your outer push. This is about pressing and pushing and getting you much stronger pushes so that you generate a lot more power and you can accelerate faster, requiring fewer crossovers as well. Alright, let's take a look. Here we're going to press and push in chasse. Now we're doing chassis in a circle, and this is something you might actually end up doing for ice dancing for various dances as practice, but it's also a great exercise for crossovers. Let's take a look. See, what I'm doing here is I'm compressing myself over my skating foot, pressing into my ankle right here, and I'm maintaining my axis this way. So I'm pressing myself. Notice that because my edge is pressed over to the inside because I'm on an inside edge, I have to lean out of the circle to maintain that line right here. Otherwise, if I'm too much in here, I would just fall over and I wouldn't be able to get as much power. Let's watch and press and push. Again, press and now we're seeing it from this side. Same thing, really pressing into the ankle. The inside foot is off the ice, so we're using the inside edge of the outer foot we're really pressing into our knees and ankles, maintaining that axis. So you want to make sure you keep that axis. It's very important. We're going to press and push out. Press and again, push out. So practice this. You want to do this both directions. And right now we're going to go back and I'm going to show you how this goes in the crossovers again. This is all about pressing and pushing. Now when you do crossovers, you're utilizing both pushes. And in the previous video, I showed you how to get stronger under pushes. And the outer pushes are usually not the problem for most skaters when getting better at their crossovers. It's usually the under pushes, though. so that's why I started with that video first. But both are important. Okay, now we're going to look at the other direction. Same thing, we're going to press and push. You want to maintain your arms on the circle. And again, you want to press, push, and you want to generate as much force as you can and stay over that pushing foot for as long as you can. Once your foot, the free foot, touches the ice, your body weight's transferred, and at that point, you will not generate any more force from the push. Because once the body weight is off the pushing foot, there's nothing left to push with. Let's watch. Push. Same thing, pressing. Again, that axis, maintaining it. Make sure that you really remember those ankles. Everybody remembers to bend their knees, but not everybody bends their ankles. So really focus on that, because you can bend your knees without actively bending your ankles. But if you can bend your ankles, you'll definitely bend your knees. Also, don't hit, stick your hips out. You want to make sure that 
you want to tuck your butt underneath you because if you stick it out you're going to be up on the ball of your foot right here you actually want to push from the heel back in this area back here this will give you the most amount of force and your push is going to go from the heel and a roll forward to the ball of the foot now if you start at the ball of the foot you have nowhere to go that's it get a very small push and you're going to feel like you're falling right off your toes so remember start from the heel and roll forward well that pretty much wraps it up for today i'm back in school now for computer science so i haven't been making as many videos as before but i'm still going to try to make at least a video a month for you guys so stay tuned lots more to come